Hello and welcome back to Project Seawolf. Back at the boat. Last time we reinforced the inside of the uh, the bow where the bobstay terminal is going to be. So, bobstay, uh, yeah, the bobstay comes from the bow sprit and attaches to the front of the boat. This offers some extra support for the uh, head sail and the mast. So let's see what's going on under here. I've got the peel ply that kept in all the uh, fiberglass. All right, looks like there wasn't much leakage, which is good. Less grinding for me. Yep, that's solid. So when I get the tent and I'm able to work on the outside of the boat, grind this back, do another patch up front, make sure everything is totally solid, waterproof, and uh, make that fit the, uh, the new bobstay terminal fitting better. All right, let's see how the epoxy did at the bow. All right, look at that block there. Solid, didn't move, didn't sag, nice. All right, I've got the chain plate here. So the chain plate's gonna sit, sit on it like that. So, I mean, it fits, fits over it, so that's that's uh, that's good. It doesn't get stuck uh, on the edges, but uh, there there's definitely a lot of fairing that's gonna have to be done to flatten out the space for it. Still, way better than what used to be there. So um, that's gonna happen uh, when I put this on, which is gonna take doing all the external stuff first. So that's gonna wait, and we're gonna move on to a different project. What I'd really like to do is uh, get going on the bowsprit and uh, grinding it and cleaning it up and seeing if I need to make a new bowsprit or not. So inside I'm going to be taking off the, uh, the nuts for all these bolts and uh, should probably tie the bowsprit to the boat with the cleats um, so that it, it doesn't just fall down. So. <laughs> So let's go do that. Okay, we got it cleated off. Um, that way it won't go forward. Uh, honestly, I'm just mostly concerned about s swinging over in my Jeep, so that shouldn't happen now. And now we can go inside and take the bolts off, get the nuts off of the bolts and see if the, the, the bolts move. <laughs> See if we can get these bolts started. There's gonna be a lot of washers falling down. All right, I caught it with my foot. <laughs> Looks like for like all these uh, fittings, they used a ton of uh, 5200, um, which is fine. Uh, it just you know, doesn't make the deck rot go away though. So um, I can tell there's a lot of deck rot in the holes up in the, in the V-birth area here. Or uh, yeah, so um, I'm probably gonna have to remove all the fittings here and uh, redo the entire deck up here with solid fiberglass. Getting the washers off now. <laughs> I 
again, caught it with my foot. May have to uh, go up top and see if I can spin the bolts so that they, uh, they're they loose so that I can hammer them out. Let's see if it works from this side. Hey. <laughs> Well, God, I hope I can get these off. Well, that's concerning. <laughs> All right, so the plan is now to loosen up these so that there's at least a gap between the bolt and the uh, bow sprit. Because it does seem like they're moving a little bit. Once there's a gap there, I'll, I'll put some lubricant down and see if that helps get these bolts off. Yeah, okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Alright, more and more, more and more of a gap. Alright, let's see if we can knock the bolts up from the inside now. Uh, now that they've all been, now that they've all been loosened a little bit. Hey, that's one. Ah, okay. Seven more to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the backing plate for the bowsprit. Uh, definitely gonna have to clean this up and see if. Uh, oh man, look, there's some big pitting there. Um, luckily, it's just a big piece of a, uh, presumably aluminum. Mm, it's pretty heavy. Um, yeah, I came down on my arm. Um, cool. So that's a big piece off. I mean, technically, should be able to pry off the bowsprit now. It's got tons of 5200 on it. It looks like, uh, I think all that is 5200 up there. So, um, uh, maybe I need to, I'll scrape along the edges, pour some alcohol on it. And, uh, and then I'll see if I can pry it up. Oh, it's loose. I can move it with just this uh, seven-way tool, so. Wow, I'm kind of surprised, actually. Okay. Seems like the, uh, the area up front needs to be loosened up a little bit more. Seems like they really just 5200ed the, uh, the front of it down to the, the bow. Oh yeah, yeah, it's just kind of, the 5200's old and it's nasty.
Ooh, it's just dirt under there. <laughs> God knows what. Okay. Oh, thank God for the rope. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Oh, and that's all just nasty. Wow. <laughs> all right. It's almost like a magnet in this yard. <laughs> they saw me take the bowsprit off, and uh, two guys came up and was like, oh, let's get you some ropes and uh, foam pad to protect the hull and everything. And it's like, okay, thanks. <laughs> Great. All oh, this corrosion, yeah, it does not bode well for the uh, aluminum. Um, it is just coated. They did a little drizzle of uh, of sealant here. Oh man, yeah, probably need a whole new bowsprit. That is corroded to heck right there, the crossbars. Holy moly. All right, well, as long as we get this uh, the bowsprit off safely now, be happy. But once this is off, we're free to work on this deck rot that you can see in here. Oh man, it's like, uh, it's like pudding. Oh, disgusting. Oh, look. Look at this. It's still wet. It's still soaked. Wow. I'm gonna have to re-fiberglass this whole deck, or the whole bow. Woo! That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm, I'm excited though. I, I want to do this. So... Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's got a little conundrum. So I guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a foam pad here, keep it from obliterating the bow, uh, the bolts. And then um, we're gonna wrap another rope around here and then we're gonna lower it down from this, these second bolts. Um, let's see, the stand is way back there. I don't wanna ding that, so, all right. Can I just get the feel of it? Absolutely, yeah. Where's that, where's that foam and... It's right okay, here. Okay, look. Yeah. Kevin, I'm gonna lift this out and jam that friggin' foam down in there because it's already peeling away here. Okay. Okay, ready? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, okay. Okay, got it. <clears throat> Son of a... <laughs> bit heavy? Mother... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking a hundred pounds is a I low just, estimate. Oh no, okay. So, that totally sucks, man. Shit, this is, this is 150 pounds. <laughs> Did you, you must have felt it when it was coming off. Yeah, I was like, whoa, <laughs> that was a, that was a lot more than I thought shit. it was going to be. Yeah, you get, a cord, uh, get a cord up here. They're going to rip the f out of your hole. The way it is that, you know, it's going to, the sides of the pulpit are going to rip things up. It's going to um, scratch yeah. the hole. Yeah. Yeah, we need to get some. If we cut the bolts off and I move the Jeep, just shove it, let it land on the ground. And do what with it then? Well, it, you're going to have to lift it. Yeah, I'll, I'll lift it into the back. <laughs> it was underneath the bolts, we can kind of right. pull. The other one. Yeah. It's loose now. Right, the other one is. Okay, I'm loosening up the white rope. You got your boat, GoPro activated? Yep, GoPro's okay. going. Okay, um, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. 
three. Oh, fuck. It's got another line. Yeah. It didn't run out. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I didn't... Okay, uh... you, gotta, you gotta give it some strength, buddy. Okay. And ease her down. Yeah, there was a lot more friction on it than okay. I thought. We're good. Yeah. You're in control, Kevin. Okay. I'm at the end of this rope, so... Sweet, man. You got Woo! it. All right, well, it's out. <laughs> So the three of us can lift. We can put, put those pads in your car, man. Okay. Because you'll have a shit mess. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just roll it off of them. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, me and the boys, we took down the bowsprit. The only, uh, the only damage is like just a little scratch in the paint there. You can barely see it. Yeah. Everything else, perfectly fine. Oh my goodness. And it's a good thing we did because the coring is like peanut butter under there. It's crazy. And yeah, this uh, this cast aluminum is super corroded. Really, really corroded. The guys, uh, the guys are saying I should try to knock back all the powder and um, corrosion and see if it's still usable. Um, so yeah, but I can do that at home where I'm not gonna have any trouble with the yard. Whew, man, that was a pretty good job. I think, um, I think it's 175 pounds ish so another me pretty comfortably with three people we were we were able to load it so yeah about the same weight as a person which is crazy and if i can't salvage the bowsprit i'll be able to salvage the parts like the roller um which still is fine yeah and i'll be able to get all the dimensions and everything and make a new one well, I just got done thanking the guys. They really put in a lot of effort to help me out. <laughs> yeah, and I, I got a book out of it. So that's awesome. When Harley was one, it's kind of the first like internet dystopian stab, 1972. I'm kind of a big uh, book guy. Um, I love my books, I love reading, and uh, I love knocking out books too. So um, that's perfect. Now, now that we've uh, accomplished the bowsprit, I think um, maybe knocking out these through holes uh, repairing the inside of these ones and then that will that will make for a nice full day You can hear the rot. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a lot of work up here in the bow. Ugh. Looking forward to removing the core though, make it strong.
pretty happy with the way that turned out and it didn't take too long. All right. So we got the smaller hole here and the bigger hole there. I think it turned out pretty well. I, I rolled out the bubbles and um, each one has four layers of chop strand and four layers of biaxle. I want to thank my sponsors, uh, especially those on Patreon. Thank you so much. You make the storage payments way more affordable uh, for the boat and and help me with supplies and everything. And um, man, it, it, it just helps me out so much. Genuinely, thank you so much. Still a ton of work to do. Full year's work, worth of work at least. Plugging away and uh, really getting things done. So I'm, I'm happy with that. If you like the show, uh, give me a like and subscribe. And uh, if you really, really liked it, maybe check out the Patreon. Thank you so much for watching and sticking out to the end. And uh, I'll see you next time.